Well, hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, Fault Symmetry. And today started off strangely. Thought I'd come over here because I wanted to look at this design a little bit, you know, touch base with the Squid Farm again because I haven't been here in a while. And I thought I'd look at the design to see what I would do in the Nether Tunnel. And I came through and we... We seem to have some friends, which I don't know why. <laughs> like, I really, really don't know why. Hi, guys. How's it, how's it going? Come in for a tour of the squid farm. Is that, is that what happened? That someone's selling some, uh, some tour tickets. Oh, and he disappeared. That was weird. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well... I guess since you're here, you might as well come with me and come to my base, because I actually need you guys, so I guess back through the portal might be a good idea, and also blocking it off, so you can't, um, escape, no, escape's not the word I want, you guys are free to roam, just not anywhere dangerous, yeah. <laughs> guess I've got some free villagers, no idea where from though, so they could be someone else's, but I guess I'll ask around, and if not, you're mine. Which, no, no. You're my new friend. That, that's, that's what I meant. So that is enough villager shenanigans for now. We are now in my creative world. Look at it, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? It's not really that beautiful. Uh, it is just a plain flat world with uh, this in it. This random build here. This is, if we go up here, you'll, you'll see what it is. It is the nether tunnel. It is in the brown district area of the nether hub and uh, this is where my squid tunnel is this is what it looks like at the moment i've literally got these going down <laughs> down to the portal now i counted this out uh the other day actually quite a while a few days ago actually maybe maybe over a week ago uh but i couldn't think of any ideas to do for this but then i was like if it goes to the squid farm why not continue that theme like i don't know why that didn't just come to me straight away just continue the theme of the squid farm and build it up and that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna we've got the blocks here these are all I believe blocks that I've used except for the lapis haven't used that in the design because I've actually used water instead but being in the nether and all we can't use water so these are literally all the blocks I think I've ever used in that design in the squid farm uh, that you just saw uh, and I thought you know what we're gonna bring those into the nether and make it so that once you go into that tunnel you realise you're just not in the nether anymore. You, you're, you're on your way to the squid farm. You're in, on your way to the desert. And uh, that is what it's going to be. So, what I've done is made... I've made this a, a half slab. Uh, so that we're not getting spawns. Because it's not really a long enough path to need ice all the way along it. So I thought I'd just go half slab. This area here won't be half slabbed. It, it won't have too many spawns. But then I've just been putting sand around it. And I thought, what could be cool is if we, like, kind of made it like the desert and have like the corners kind of built up like little 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 sandy mountains perhaps something like that perhaps i i don't really know <laughs> which is probably kind of obvious since i'm just placing these blocks in really random places but i think something like this could be kind of cool and i believe i'm hoping this is the case that we can add cactus i don't know can we add cactus can cactus go in the nether I believe so. Possibly could carry on with the whole sandstone thing, keep it quite smooth. Like so. I don't know why I'm doing this right now because <laughs> I haven't even seen if this looks good or not. I'm just showing you guys what my plan is. That, you know what, actually? I'm really surprised at how good that actually looks. I did not plan that in the slightest. That looks cool. Well, that's a good start, right? I don't know what to do from there though. Tempted actually to go bigger and better. I believe I've got a lot of space around this. So now, now we're, now's where the crazy force comes in. I'm gonna cover this here with a blue glass. So we've got like a bit of a a sky. Um, and obviously behind this can't be. We can't have netherrack behind this because that would just look really bad. But we could build, like, we could technically, I guess, continue the sand outwards so that we've got the border there. So let's do that. And then, could continue it into the distance. 
and have this really really large areas and then back here have like I guess clay possibly white clay and blue clay I know that blue doesn't look great but behind that glass it might do so having something like th actually we need we need wool for that oh no quartz 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 work perfectly quartz will, per will work perfectly and then have a fake I d is there something with me with fake skies in Minecraft that I actually don't mind them too much <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me guys, I like fake skies in Minecraft occasionally, but something like that, and continue this terraforming, uh, through here. Thoughts? Dunno. What do you think? Looks kinda cool, hopefully. Gives it a bit more depth. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with this design idea, really like the sand, so the sand will stay the way. I'll do one side with glass, one side with blocks, and then we'll figure out what we're actually doing for the rest of the design, which is probably the most important part, which we're just leaving. So, yeah. <laughs> cool idea, though. We'll see how it goes. Well, a few minutes later, we've come up with this, and I really like it. I really like it. I made it dark because that's what the nether's like. It's dark and gloomy, and this is as close as I can get to dark and gloomy outside. So this is what's been going on. Obviously, the, you can see these have been growing. But we'll, we'll use string to get, uh, you know, them to the right height that we want. And I think this looks great. I think we've got the clouds in place. We've got a little bit of depth going on in the ceiling there. And I think that without building the whole thing, I think that looks pretty good. It looks pretty accurate. We can, we can build this how we like. And I think that it works both sides as well. Yeah, that works both sides. I think, I don't know which way you come out. I think you come out facing this way. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day, though. But we've got that room sorted, which is great. But now I've got all of this to do. So there's still quite a lot of work to do. But I think this is going to, we're going to try and keep it a little simple. Bring some stuff from that into this. But I think mostly block-wise rather than design-wise. I don't want to go too crazy, but... I'm going to say that now, and in like five seconds, it's going to be like a crazy room or something that's massive out here or something, which uh, I'm going to try not to do, because I don't I don't fancy having to build massive rooms or dig out a whole bunch of netherrack. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. I really like it. And um, yeah, I think we got to just get on with the corridors now. Let's go. So I'm going to be honest, the corridors took a lot longer than expected. It hasn't been five minutes, it's been a lot longer. But I've got designs that I'm quite happy with. Now, these are the same design as down there. So basically what's happened is, I'll show you guys this. This is the structure. Now, this bit might change up here. I think my main thing for today is to do this part. This is actually longer than I thought. Um, and obviously, the, with the amount of detail I go into with tunnels, it, it is quite a long tunnel. If, if I'd kept it simple with walls that weren't, you know, brought out a few blocks, then I would have been able to do the whole thing, I think. But time-wise and the fact that I don't actually think I own that much sandstone, I'm going to need a lot of time to gather resources. So that's going to suck a little bit. But that's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll do this part today, that part another day. I mostly wanted to try and figure out some kind of structure, but I don't really like this. Because most this this part here and up to about there is out in the open. That whole end there is in netherrack, so that doesn't matter too much. Although I have tried to make it so that it could look quite nice from the outside too. Like like a little building, perhaps. Um, but yeah, I do want it to look kind of cool from the outside as well. But that that's like last minute stuff. We can just add stuff to the outside to make it look pretty. Anyway, let's quickly head inside. So basically it's, it's 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10 block wise. So this is 10 blocks and then that is 5 and then yeah. So I went like that. So, which is something I like to do in tunnels. So the 5 block is quite simple. Kept it very, very, you know, like not really much in the colour scheme. I In the other design though, further up there, I have got these gold blocks. So... Possibly, possibly add in the gold blocks. I think they add a little bit of something. And then this is the design for the tent. So this could be kind of random. We add dead bushes and cactus or cacti in different places. And there's windows which I can move back if a cactus wants to go one back. And that works like that. We've got the red strip down the middle because we've obviously got a lot of strips of red in the uh, main design in the overworld. And then this is that design again. A bit different. I think we've got an extra light. And then I haven't quite decided what's going on here. I think I'm going to leave this quite simple. I did originally have it like like this. But then I remembered that it isn't actually out in the open. Because I, I kind of like having windows to look out into the nether when you're in the nether. 
but I, I don't know. We'll just do something simple like like that. Probably not this, because I've just plonked this there, but we'll do something simple. That doesn't even look that bad, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't matter for now. This is a tiny little room, which is just kind of meant to break it up before you head into the main one. So, yeah, so that's kind of how it's going to be. And then you go, ta-da, and then this room's actually quite a lot darker than out here, though. But that's fine, we can tweak the lighting as we go. But anyway, I'm very, very excited. We're going to head into the server now. Because I'm fed up of being in this creative world, looking at the sun going down but not moving. It's very, it's very sad. Um, yeah, so let's go on to the server now. And I think I need to collect a whole bunch of sandstone. So I'll go do that. And uh, I'll be back when I've actually got sandstone. Which you guys do not want to sit through. Because that's going to be boring. Yay! <laughs> I'll log on the server for like two seconds and I've got this guy! Oh my god, he's coming in! He's coming in for the attack! Oh my god. I thought I was literally just gonna try and fit through that gap there. I haven't got a decent... Oh, I haven't got a decent bow. Why? <laughs> Blimey, I've never seen a, uh, a ghast attempt a, attempt a me uh, melee attack, but, uh, but, but I guess it's not all bad. I've got a ghast here. Okay, sweet. Well, let's now open this up and see what we got going. So, originally I thought this was completely covered. I forgot that I'd, I'd half covered it. And actually it's pretty much open in the nether. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have any issues. I don't think there's anything out here that matters too much. We can cover this over or we can open it up. I think although I'm going to cover it over and keep the glass nice and safe. But that does mean adding an extra protection around this, which sucks because I don't like having to make extra protection around netherrack stuff but hey whatever we'll do it and uh, just fingers crossed no more ghost spawn because that was kind of quite a fight and a half <laughs> didn't didn't blow up quite a lot of this at all nope nope not at all <laughs> everything is completely fine nothing absolutely nothing is going wrong nothing's on fire I'm sure it's fine dang it <laughs> quickly checking in before I go live I'm probably gonna just work on the tunnel and since my live streams go for about three hours or so it may or may not get done but that means that possibly we have time to work on the top part who knows how tired I'll be after the live stream but anyway just look at look at this look at this we've almost got a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a dance troupe going on but also I wanted to actually say if I can find my little note yes it's on my table uh, I asked you guys to name these two ginger cats, because obviously this is cat and cat butt, uh, to name these two guys, and the ginger twins, and someone called Bit Van Bite named them the, me the best name ever. If you haven't seen the video, you won't understand, but Dot and Dash. Yeah! The best names ever! Just such a, such a great reference. And we'll be able to re remember the episode and the, the event. That, that unfolded because of you, your butt, your big butt. Indeed, yeah, exactly, exactly, exact, exactly. Don't look at me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna name those guys. So I will probably get some of those in live stream too if I remember. So let's get going, and uh, I'll catch you guys after the stream. Just recorded a clip, and it had my stream overlay on it because I've just finished streaming. You can tell I'm tired when I do something stupid like that. But anyway, what I said in that, I even did some stuff, and I'm sorry. And now, now I've done a lot of it. In, on camera, but you can't see it because it looks terrible. Anyway, doesn't matter. We did this. Looks cool, right? Um, it looks okay. I've had to move like little bits of glass back, which was the which was the plan. It was honestly the plan to move them back to push the cactus back, uh, so that we could have more than just one row. Like I can't put one there. Would have to move this back one, which I don't really think makes a difference too much. I think it's okay. And we could do something like that, and then add the dead bushes, like so. And I think that gives it enough character that it works. Um, I don't know. I'm sure you guys can let me know of different ideas that I could be doing. Um, other than that, we've got these little areas, which I might tweak. I might add a fence post there, connecting those, because the gold looks a little bit just flat in those areas. Uh, we've then got this little room here, which I recently just changed it from that to just a red blob on camera as well because well it's like the destination almost like you know it's I guess I could get rid of that that looks a 
bit better, perhaps. I don't know, I guess I've done that everywhere else. Anyway, so there's that, and then this over here looks like it was underwater, and a lot of people did say, Does it, is it underwater in my stream? And I said, no, it's not, wait till the cactuses are in. And now I've put the cactuses in, uh, it still looks a little bit like it's underwater. But I've also been adding the, um, the white wall for clouds, which has to be done. Has to be done. You can't, you can't not do that. There's, 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 uh, there's gas somewhere. Um, but actually, recently in, in stream as well, people were like, you do realise that sandstone is below upable, which is, is a term that's totally English, guys, I'm sure. 100% sure that blow up a ball is a, is a word. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, a ghast can blow up um, the netherrack, which is uh, not, well, obviously the netherrack, but also, um, yeah, my, my stuff. So I'm trying to concentrate here, trying to make clouds. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that. Obviously, fire can be spread as well, but if it happens, it happens, and then I'll just make sure there's none. Yeah, we'll just have to worry about it later, basically. Um, any of that going on fire? No, we, we're okay. I mean, I can hear a lot of flames. Got a feeling they're through here. But here's probably where it's going to be set on fire the most, if, if it does get set on fire at all. But it's easily uh, changeable if it does get set on fire, so that's not really too much of a problem. But anyway, like I said in the previous clip, I'm going to now spend a little bit of time just adding a few more cactus around the place, or cacti. Uh, adding a little bit of details here and there. I might even get some flower pots and put some cactus uh, or cacti in those as well. And then I'll come back to you when it's completely finished, but I did a lot in live stream, guys. This was literally three hours work, which I wouldn't have been able to do if I didn't do it on live stream. So apologies. Someone did literally thank me the other day saying, thank you for not doing everything in your videos on live stream. But I, I kind of have, a, yeah, I'm sorry. I, ha I kind of have today. Today only. Don't usually try and do that. I try and do the grindy stuff in streams, but hey, it is done now and it's looking fabulous. So let's get going and do the details. Details done, added some flower pots with flowers, added some flower pots with cacti, added not much else in here. <laughs> I was going that way as if there was something, dang it. And then in here I've just done a little bit of the same, looking pretty cool. I like the little cactuses, look at them, they're so cute, they're so cute. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already. And I've had a lot of fun this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Oh, hello. See ya! <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10 ending. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.